Hello friends, thank you for stopping by for today's nugget. Jesus, our mediator, we really appreciate the time you spend with us. One of the great high points in the book of Hebrews is found in chapter 7, verse 25. The Bible says, Therefore, he is able to save to the outermost those who come to God through him, since he always lives to make intercession for them. Yesterday, we established the, the fact that Jesus is our king. Today, the lesson introduces Jesus as our mediator. The Mosaic law strictly separates three most important offices, prophet, priest, and king. Prophet could be kings as David was. Priests could be prophets as Samuel was. But kings could not be priests and priests could not be kings. But there is an interesting concept of the Old Testament theology that the promised Davidic king will represent the nation before God as a priest. He will be both priest and king, and God will fulfill his promise to Israel through the Davidic king. The Mosaic covenant required the faithfulness of all Israel to receive God's protection and blessings. However, the Davidic covenant secured God's covenantal blessing upon Israel through the faithfulness of one person, the Davidic king. The bad news is that most of the Davidic kings were not faithful and God could not bless Israel as he wanted to. The good news is that, that God sent his son to be born as the son of David and he has been perfectly faithful. So God blessed the son of David, the king of the universe, and we share in his benefit. This is why Jesus is mediator of God's blessings to us. He is the mediator in that he is the channel through whom God's blessings flow. As you go about your duties today, be encouraged by this amazing truth. Our ultimate hope of salvation is found in only one person, Christ Jesus. For in him, every one of God's promises is yes. And through him, we say, amen. Of God, glory be to God. God bless you and see you tomorrow and study your lesson. Music